So language is used where you want to kind of try to become proficient. Uh, server side, uh, it's SQL and PL SQL. And uh, just getting started uh, w with Apex, that's, that's where you want to focus. Because um, that's just ultimately your applications need to be able to function. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, that's kind of just the, the sugar on top. Now, I would say as you become, as you mature as an Apex developer, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are going to become more important. You're going to want to learn those things. You're going to want to understand those because ultimately that's going to lead to better applications. Um, I think especially with Apex 5 and the universal theme, that is le that is less important, but not something you should just completely ignore. And for those of you who maybe are not, not familiar, HTML provides the structure for your application. Um, that's kind of describing, you know, I, I need a, you know, it's how things are going to look or kind of where things are going to be. Uh, CSS if, if are cascading style sheets. That's how you add style to your application. So you could say, I want my fonts to be kind of a dark gray and I want to have a white background and um, I want things to look a certain way. And then lastly, there's JavaScript, which is the client side interactions uh, of your application. So when uh, someone focuses on a text field or changes the value of an item and, and you want something to happen, uh, that'll be JavaScript. And we're not going to focus on that too much this class. We'll focus on it just a little bit. But um, Apex does provide a declarative component called a dynamic action, which tries to solve some of the uh, basic uh, JavaScript needs for you in a very declarative way. So you say you would say when this changes, hide these items. Right? When when this happens, I want you to refresh this report. Right? And so it's you don't actually have to write any code to do those types of things.